As Breast Cancer Awareness Month comes to a close, we want to pay tribute to all the women and men who lost their lives to the disease and honor those who continue to share their stories and spread awareness. According to the American Breast Cancer Society, the average risk of a woman developing breast cancer is roughly 13 percent. And 54-year-old Pamela Prowell from York County is among that group. Fox 43's Sire Williams shares her journey. So Lex is coming over then? Pamela Prowell is a child care director and also has two kids of her own. Renfield, uh, where Nicolas Cage is starring as Dracula. Ooh, I love Nicolas Cage. Her son Samuel and her daughter Emily don't currently live with her, but her home is in an empty nest. Hmm, he looked at you. You're so lucky, he normally looks away. Her husband, Thomas Prowell, loved his family, loved his garden. And he just loved to cook. Uh, without a recipe, which I still have no idea how that's done. A picture-perfect family, until... My husband was diagnosed with leukemia on um, Valentine's Day of 2022. Shaken by his diagnosis, Pamela dedicated her time to taking care of Thomas. I would just travel back and forth, spend the night with him, go to work from him, then come home, then go to work. It was just a crazy cycle. Seeing what her husband was going through, Pamela decided she should get screened for breast cancer. Due to the pandemic, she hadn't had a mammogram in over a year. After multiple mammograms, ultrasounds, and screenings, Pamela found out she too had cancer. And then I had the information on Monday of what kind of cancer I had, what staging it was, and it was like, let the games begin. In May of 2022, Pamela was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, a form of breast cancer that is much harder to treat than others. Traditional targeted medications like the hormone blocker pills or other medicines do not necessarily work with triple negative breast cancer. Pamela underwent surgeries, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and radiation, all while her husband was in the middle of his treatment for leukemia. It was just like this what's happening kind of kind of feeling like this numb feeling to it all both parents having cancer at the same time it's just um it's overwhelming especially when we're as young as we are as thomas's health continued to decline there was a glimmer of hope when samuel was able to donate his bone marrow to his father this procedure would give him the chance to replenish healthy new blood cells but when the transplant didn't work, that hope soon faded. It's just conflicting. Like, I know I gave him a, the best chance with the bone marrow, but at the same time, I made him so much more sick and put him in so much more pain. Feeling like he was going to save the day for his dad, and then that didn't happen. So all those feelings and emotions, as a mom, in the, in the moment, I wasn't even thinking about that and those feelings for him. Thomas died in January. It was just like everything was going good. And then it just wasn't. During her husband's treatment, <laughs> Pamela became cancer free, ringing the bell to conclude her battle. I knew from the beginning that I had to take care of myself, but I also knew that that taking care of myself was not gonna be my husband by my side. Pamela planted this tree in the garden where Thomas used to spend a lot of time. The tree was just, when I saw it, the, the leaves are in the shape of a heart. And I thought, you know what, this is perfect. This is a tree that needs to be here. Pamela and her children continue to keep Thomas's memory alive. And by sharing this story, she hopes to bring awareness to what a hardship breast cancer is and the toll it takes on a family. But everybody has a journey. Some journeys are awful. Some journeys are just hard. Sayara Williams, Fox 43 News.